In this video, we're going to explore the design of Opener's Blackfly. Using its existing design as a template, we will make modifications and create different iterations of it, such as a larger two-seater version and one that can be powered by fuel cells. So without further ado, let's begin. One of the most iconic aircraft of the present era is no doubt the Blackfly from Opener. Its beauty lies in its simplicity. It's a tandem wing configuration that doesn't have a vertical stabilizer and doesn't even have a landing gear. It looks like a canoe with wings, and yet the aircraft can take off vertically, seamlessly transition to cruise, and also land vertically unlike any other aircraft out there. We've had tail-sitter VTOL aircraft in the past that were simple and functionally similar, but trying to board them was a challenge to say the least, and ground infrastructure was required, which is why the idea failed to prevail. The opener's Blackfly, on the other hand, touches an unparalleled level of simplicity with no requirement of ground infrastructure at all. It can land and take off from paved surfaces, grass, asphalt, and even snow or ice. It can even land on water. The present design developed by Opener falls under Part 103. A FAA Part 103 legal aircraft can be sold without the need to go through a rigorous certification process, but this also severely restricts the role of the aircraft to being just a recreational one. It also limits the occupancy to just one person and the empty weight limit to 115 kilograms. The Blackfly weight is slightly over that threshold, that is the aircraft weighs 142 kg, but because it is an amphibious ultralight, it still qualifies for the Part 103 as the weight restriction for amphibious aircraft is higher. Furthermore, it is also restricted to the type of airspace it can fly in. While falling under Part 103 has its advantages and one of them is no requirement of pilot's license to fly the aircraft but as mentioned, it has several limitations. The Blackfly's design has so much potential, particularly if a larger version of it is made. At present, it has a compact footprint of just 4.16 meters by 2.5 meters. It can fit in a garage and occupy space less than that of two cars parked side by side. But what if we enlarge it slightly to increase the maximum takeoff weight? What if we make it a two-seater? What if we make it run on a fossil fuel system and see how much its flight time can be increased? What if we don't restrict the aircraft to the ultralight category and modify it to a utility aircraft comparable to the Cessna 172? To explore all this, let's start our what if journey. The iteration of Blackfly we will explore will have a longer wing size. The wing size is increased from 4.16 meters to 6.16 meters on both the wings. We will also have to add four extra propellers, two on each wing to increase the takeoff power and maintain the same distributed propulsion intensity as the original model. This will allow us a higher value of maximum takeoff weight and also maintain the same flight characteristics. The fuselage can be extended to increase the space inside of the aircraft Bear in mind that this extended design has a smaller footprint than a Cessna 174 and yet it can take off from and land in your back garden, which the Cessna cannot. From the specs, we find that each propeller of the Blackfly can give a thrust of 59 kilograms. With four additional propellers, we will get an additional 236 kilograms of thrust, of which we will leverage only around half, that is 118 kilograms for the additional payload. This will be done to have a similar lift authority of the original aircraft. With this allowance, we can either choose to add an extra passenger or can add a fuel cell system. Bear in mind that the original Blackfly has just eight kilowatt hour of battery. Almost a fifth of the battery energy is set aside for reserve flight. Another fifth of the total capacity is kept inaccessible to protect the battery. This leaves us with just around 5 kilowatt hour for hover and cruise. The Blackfly has one of the lowest energy consumption of just 245 watt hour per mile. With two people on board, the energy consumption per mile would increase, particularly if the disc loading doesn't remain the same. If we maintain the same design of having one kilowatt hour battery behind every propulsor, 
then the upscale design would have an extra 4 kilowatt hour of battery making it 12 kilowatt hour in total from calculations it was found that the original black fly consumes about 42 kilowatts of maximum power and gives us about 15 minutes of flying time with the maximum allowable weight in the extended version we can add another seat behind the pilot's seat with the added seat the extra weight of the airframe the motors the batteries and an extra person the power required would be 68 kilowatts considering the disc loading of not just 8 but 12 propellers the calculations reveal that the flight time reduces in the two-seater version despite the additional batteries to just 12.5 minutes Nonetheless, the two-seater version with the single occupant and the extra seat removed has an estimated flight time of 20 minutes, so there is an improvement. There is some merit in developing the two-seater version with batteries and especially with more powerful batteries on the horizon. It would, however, require the aircraft to clear a very stern certification process, but this design template is simply too good to ignore. The real change in flight time can come with the use of fuel cells. Note that one kilogram of hydrogen has 33.3 kilowatt hour of energy content or calorific value. Even with a 60% efficient fuel cell, one kilogram of hydrogen would still provide 20 kilowatt hours of electricity. The fuel cells vehicle have been around for over a decade. The technology has matured and cost reduction is being achieved through economies of scale. For the fuel cell version of the Blackfly, we can use Toyota Mirai's fuel cell, the specs of which are as follows. The fuel cell stack weighs about 52 kilograms. The combined space that the two hydrogen tanks occupy is 122 liters. They can store hydrogen at 70 megapascals. The tanks have a combined weight of 87.5 kilograms and can hold 5 kilograms of hydrogen in total. This fuel cell can provide power of up to 136 kilowatts and needs a battery as a buffer which is already present in the Blackfly. Now there is little margin to add extra weight of the fuel cell in the normal Blackfly. We can however add it to our extended version with the 12 props. Calculations reveal that with a single tank the flight time will increase to 54 minutes. With two tanks of hydrogen and with the extra weight of the system considered, the flight time will increase to 1 hour and 24 minutes. But bear in mind that these flight time values with fuel cells are based on just a single occupant, not two. If we increase the occupants to two, then with a single tank of hydrogen, the flight time comes out to be 39 minutes. The disc loading increases though, which means a lot more load on the propellers. For two tanks of hydrogen and with two people on board, the flight time is 65 minutes. The max power required will be increased to 87.5 kilowatts. The disc loading is 30% higher than the normal flight, which will alter the flight characteristics. And the aircraft will not be flying as nimble as seen in the videos. So with the fuel cells, the flight time increases significantly. Bear in mind that the fuel cell stack used here can produce up to 136 kilowatts. Even in our most loaded condition, we are well below that number. Therefore, a lighter fuel cell can be used. Similarly, with a fuel cell system on board, the amount of battery can be also reduced to save weight. So there we go. To recap, the Blackfly is one of those aircraft that anyone would like to own. The design is amazing and lends itself well for larger utility scale aircraft. The fuel cell system, such as the one used here for calculations, costs about 40,000 US dollars. Nonetheless, as the price drops, it's certainly worth looking at the Blackfly with a fuel cell system for the extended range and performance. And with this, the video is concluded. If you learned something from it, then do give it a thumbs up. Thank you for your attention.